from Samarkand. They boarded a bus and continued west to the great market city of Kiva. Being an old Kiva is like stepping back in time, but Kiva is more than history alone. It's a living, breathing town with a busy population. Kiva is an impressive ensemble of fabulous architecture. In centuries past, Kiva was a trade center for the slave caravans arriving from harsh journeys across deserts infested with wild tribesmen. And they were, of course, very happy to arrive in Kiva. The city is a living museum. It's filled with madrasas, moss, all these beautiful domes and towers, minarets. It's really an incredible place, and it was a major trading center along the Silk Road. I'm in Kiva here, and behind me is the famous Short Tower, or Blue Tower. It's built a few hundred years ago by a ruler here that lives in the palace next door, the Ark, it's called. And there are a few camels here and there to remind us how trading goods used to be moved along the old Silk Road. I spent a couple days exploring this charming place and my walking tour included the Tosh Howley Palace with its harem. So the Khan stayed behind me here in this chamber, in this room behind me here. And then his first wife would be in the adjoining chamber and then the second and the third and fourth wife. He had four wives which is uh, allowed in Islam but in addition to these four wives he had probably dozens and dozens of concubines that stayed across the courtyard in these other chambers here. And this is the biggest courtyard, the harem, full of gorgeous geometrical motif tiles. The five recesses on its south side have beautiful bright patterned ceilings held up by carved wooden pillars. The Tosh Kovli Palace contains Kiva's most sumptuous interior decoration, including ceramic tiles and carved stone and carved wood. And here is the 9th century Zuma Mosque with its unusual wooden ceiling and 115 carved wooden columns. I'm in a mosque here, it's called the Friday Mosque here in Kiva. And this mosque is made up entirely of old wooden pillars. We're talking about over a thousand years old on these pillars here before Genghis Khan's time. This one's a thousand years old. Here in Kiev, I also walked through the wonderful and colorful bazaar where the friendly locals were happy to see me and happy to be photographed. This was a nice contrast to some of my more challenging film work in much more conservative Islamic countries like Pakistan and Afghanistan. Yeah, beautiful. 